Hi there, this is Phil from PhilFX. I uh, wanted to have a real quick introductory on working with Harmony Advanced and opening it up for the first time. So let's go ahead and open that up. I've got an icon here for it on my uh, bar. And the way Harmony opens up is it always opens up to this uh, dialog box. And what this dialog box allows you to do is you can either open up an existing scene that you've previously opened up before, or you can create a new scene. So let's do this. Let's create a new scene, and uh, I'm going to browse to a location to where I want to put that new scene, and I'm going to put it right on my desktop. So we're going to put that new scene on the desktop, and we'll just call it new scene. All right, and the size of our project is going to be a standard HD resolution, which is 1920 by 1080, frame rate of 24 frames per second. And all I need to do here is just say create scene, and Harmony opens up. And here we go. And so here is our first project, and it opened up. If we look down here on my desktop, you will see. Harmony has created a folder called New Scene. Now this is very important because Harmony is not like a lot of other programs that you're probably used to working with. If you worked with Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or Photoshop or Illustrator, uh, when you work with each one of those programs, you'll create a new file. So let's say you're working with Photoshop, you create a new file and you save that file. Let's say you saved it to the desktop, but well, what happens is on the desktop is only a single file. Just one file is created and is placed on the desktop. And that was your project, all right? Harmony is a fairly sophisticated program and it uses lots and lots and lots of files just to generate a very simple animation. It actually uses quite a few files and it saves those. Where it saves them is in a folder. So let's open up this folder and we can see it created this folder which is my project called new scene inside there it created four subfolders all right and if i open up each one of those you can see inside of those there are even more files so all of this was created all of these folders and subfolders was created and i haven't done a single animation yet right i haven't done anything with the program and it created all this why this is important is when you turn in your homework, you will want to take and turn in this entire folder. Not just the file, you have to turn in the entire folder. I'm going to show you later how you do that, but for right now, I just want you to understand the concept that when you create a project, Harmony doesn't create just a single file, it creates this whole folder. So let's go in here and <clears throat> Just a little bit about the navigation. So when we get into Harmony, there's a menu bar across the top, like you probably would expect. We have icons for toolbars that run across the top and run across vertically. Uh, we have a uh, timing uh, timeline down below at the bottom. And then we have panels over here that we can go in and we can uh, change. And we can select and have uh, thing, panels that do specific functions. All right. Uh, typically, one of the first things that one of the things that makes uh, Harmony so much more unique than many of the other animation programs is its ability to do drawing. And so, we have a what's called a camera view, and we have what's called a drawing view. So the drawing view, the best way to think of that is this is just a piece of paper one piece of paper so you can draw on here now you can't animate on the drawing view but you can just draw it's mainly used just for drawing the camera view is where you're actually creating an animation and i can draw on here and as well as i can draw on here the point difference is is in the camera view is where animation takes place all right so uh, I just wanted to cover the basics of opening up Harmony Advanced. We're going to cover all of the different menus and the selections and the tools and everything like that. Just wanted to get you started on how to open it up and get going with it. So this has been Phil with Phil FX.